each piece um, in our set has had so many challenges but doing this gig really showed the hard work and the process we'd got to go through together to get to this end result. We started with Vertigo, we played it well, it went smoothly, it, it really did reflect our process with it because we'd had such a smooth ride, we'd all interacted with each other so well and we've always felt like this is a really confident, well put together piece that we've all collaborated on. We wrote the lyrics together in the process to get to this um, live performance. Jamie came up with um, some initial ideas, but we all kind of, in the band, we heard stuff and we went, that would fit, um, that riff would be amazing here, this instrument could play that, and we all really collaborated on this piece, so it felt like something we'd all created. Um, obviously, all of us have our different um we all have our different ways of doing things but this piece i think we all brought those those different ways of doing things together to make this really good result um we also added a guitar part in later on our drummer alex um suggested we bring in a different guitar part just to really fill out the sound so another first year came in and helped out just to add some chords underneath to make the sound fuller and more vibrant really which was so lovely and really added to the atmosphere of our live performance by just giving us that extra boost of dynamics um, and obviously texture as well um and i think just overall we had we had a few changes after the show and tell but that was about it um as i've talked about before after the show and tell, we decided that the riff, um, we wanted to kind of take out the violin part from the end section and just end with the guitar to show that feeling of separation. And what we ended up doing for the live performance is after the last chorus, we had the guitar, the bass, <laughs> the other guitar and the violin all playing that riff which felt really inclusive and I think really brought up this great atmosphere to the audience because everyone was involved and I think the people in the audience really felt that and our communication skills really came across when we played that together. Um, for wherever we've had a really bumpy ride with this one, um, we found it really hard to get this one together. We didn't play it for the show and tell because we didn't feel like it's ready and I think in these last few weeks leading up to this performance is when this uh, song has really started to show its true colours. Those really definitive A, B, A section that we've shown um, has really helped get the structure together. A few rehearsals before the actual live performance, Jamie suggested putting in some harmonies. Um, so... I was up for that and he sent across some voice notes to me saying this is kind of what I want, put it together with his voice and that was really helpful for me to hear the voices together. So we rehearsed this about two rehearsals before the gig and I think it really came together and made a really nice harmony that shows off the lyrics, the lyrics being I'll be there by your side and two people singing it together. And I think this showed um, what we were trying to bring across as the message for this song. Um, the live performance ended up being really tight, which I think was not a shock to all of us. We'd really rehearsed and made it really good, but for us to pull it off in that way just was amazing. So going from section A to section B, we managed to get this really clean drum like dropout section and then drum beat counting and violin lead up to it and i felt like that bit was so good that we all felt that confidence from managing to get that dropout all together to go on to these this fast section and really nail it like get all of this tempo change together in that dropout I think we all felt the same thing as, okay, we can do this now. And the audience kind of really looking really excited when we did this sudden tempo change. And 
I think it really showed in our attitude in the piece. When we started out this um, song in the live performance, um, it was really well done because Jamie really communicated when he was going to start and all of us looked at each other, knew what was going to happen and we all came in. Um, we made sure to, that the sound technician knew that I was going to be singing so that he could set up the mic just before and that set list went so well in the end because we'd really anticipated all the problems that could go wrong with this piece. Um, and really, the last performance before the gig, I remember, is just really going through this song so many times to make sure those rhythmic changes were right. We we hashed out the BPM together, made sure that the drummer knew what tempo we were taking it. And that went really well. Um, to have pulled off... Um, wherever in the way we did in this live performance I think we were all really impressed with because initially we didn't really see the direction of this piece we didn't know where it was going we started just throwing ideas at it and hoping for the best I think and the lyrics only came together in the last two weeks or so before the live performance so to have produced something that we're all really proud of and can all say in ourselves that we've all collaborated and tried to make this piece as good as it possibly can be, I think really shows. When we did that live performance, even though we'd done a lot of things for this last minute, um, we knew what we were doing. We felt like we'd communicated enough with each other to just kind of group together on stage and make everyone feel like they knew what they were doing and comfortable. When I did violin parts, Jamie would look at me to almost nod and say, yeah, that was good. Um, the drummer and me really communicated on the dropout so that we both knew our part in how we were going to bring everyone else back in. And the chord changes were really tight, which I was really proud of everyone for. We'd initially had some problems with the riff guitar part for this so Finn had had some problems with timing um, in the verses even though his riff was amazing it the rhythm just didn't fit with the tempo of the piece so we had to change that again in the last two weeks before the performance but because he really heeded the advice we gave him and took it on board and used a metronome to get back in time in this really challenging um speed of a song he really managed to pull it off and get it together and we really worked through it in a way so that everyone understood this sounded wrong this now sounds right and after the show and tell we just knew we had to smash this song out and i think we did that